but she's loading up to bite me. And whoa. an apex predator at this point. Hey, Juan, whoa, whoa. Juan's taking away all your guys' pleasure. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so snake's not like you. Oh, or is it like you? Like she's about a 20 footer. She weighs about, oh, probably about 200 pounds. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go grab this big female. Ready? Let's do it, Juan. Like that, I got help. Uh-oh. Is this, she mean, Tim? Black, bro. Oh, man, that is heavy. <laughs> wow, that is a big snake. This is a giant python right here, you guys. You see this box? Most of our boxes are like that. So that gives you an idea how much bigger this snake is than most snakes that we mess with. Tim, you gonna got me a couple snake hooks here? So, I got my backup. Ooh, look at this. That's a 20 foot python, at least, I bet. And uh, this is a platron. Yeah. So, that, so we're gonna get, so what, sun platy? What are we getting out of this? Sun platy, platy. We're getting all kinds of stuff. They don't bite. Let's see here. So there's an egg, there's an egg. This is what we're looking for right there. Now, you see this, the eggs can't roll around, but this one did. It's got paper on the bottom. So I know which way that goes. I'm gonna, oh, this one has a little bit of dimpling on the bottle, bottom. So here we go. Good news is, uh-oh. <laughs> I was saying she acted like she wasn't gonna, she acted more like she just, whoop. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, she's loading up. She's loading up to bite me. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? I'm only gonna take your eggs so that they all hatch. Cause here, the truth is, in the wild, they don't do very well. And the, even the more truth is, in captivity, they don't do very well because she is a cold-blooded animal. That means she has no control of her temperature, just barely a little bit during, during incubation is the only time that they can actually raise their body temperature, uh, like they say, one or two degrees. So she has to maintain these eggs for three months. And what I'm gonna do right now, she may not agree with me, but she, if she knew how many babies are gonna hatch putting them in an incubator, it would change everything. She would be on my team. But right now, we're on the same team in her mind. So the idea is that I'm gonna take these eggs, like I said, throw them in an incubator, and get a high percentage rate to survive. And I'm gonna do that through a couple ways. So when these, after 84 days, when these start to hatch, I'll, oh man. So this here's some infertile eggs. We're gonna have to feed those to a monitor. I'm gonna have to, so, in the wild, a monitor would maybe be try to run her off the nest, maybe a big tiger. And so those eggs are all stuck together to prevent them from getting messed up. So, man, the question is, I wonder how many eggs she actually has. Whoa, 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 come on, girl. So you gotta stand back. So I just found out today they're closing the zoo again. So now we're gonna be closed again. Not good, we were just starting to get back at paying the bills and getting back to normal. And, oh, whoa! And, uh, whoa! And, uh, whoa! <laughs> Come on, girl. Can't see. What is up? So, in the wild, to be completely honest, less than 1% of these eggs would survive if everything was perfect. Because in the real life, they lay so many eggs, it's just like an insect. Well, insects are, whoa. That was almost, I almost got it that time. I was looking down. See, I, I look like I'm a ninja, but it's really just that I know what she's gonna do. And I'm telling you, I almost just got smoked. <laughs> Cause I didn't, I wasn't on my game. Kind of like, you know, when you, like when you look down, nobody I'm sure has ever done this, but when you look down at your phone and you're driving and all of a sudden you realize, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I'm sure nobody's done that luckily. So that's why you don't, that's why you don't text and drive or look at the internet or watch my video, especially you guys. So, and you better have your face mask on, but I can't wear a face mask and pull this clutch of eggs and talk to all you guys, but Juan can wear his. Juan's here, Juan actually just helped me. He actually helps take care of these all year. Tim breeds them and uh, we all work together as a team here. And you know what? That's the important part about life is you have to have a team. You know what? Life's complicated all by yourself. It's no fun. And uh, so let's see. I'm kind of still curious how many eggs I'm going to have. There's another infertile egg. So let's see here. There's another egg. Okay, come on, girl. It's time to take you off. Now I could grab her by the neck 
wrestle her off. But you know what? It's not fun for her. It's not fun for me. At least this, at least this way, you guys get a little bit of a show. She gets to get to get off with just a couple strikes. Doesn't get all hostile. It looks crazy, but really, honestly, she's just putting on a show to try to run me off. And uh, <clears throat> in the wild, like I was talking about, it's tough in the wild. You know, when these little guys are born, anything can eat it from a frog to a crocodile to a bird will swoop down. They really have a lot of predators. People don't really realize it. King cobras love eating these where they come from. And of course, a king cobra is called a king because it's a king of snakes. It eats so many kinds of snakes, even these big pythons, you know? They don't eat them when they're as big as this one is. This is a top of the food chain, an apex predator at this point. Hey, Juan, whoa, 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 whoa. See, but that wasn't that scary because she couldn't get a big swing with that last one. She was propped up. If you go back and look, you'll know what I'm talking about. So come on, girl. So she's still kind of, she's kind of mixed emotions, thinking at some point she's going to give up. Question is, well, what happens between now and giving up? You need to stand back just a little bit. Because <laughs> because she unwinds, she'll be right down in everybody's face. Come on. Oh, man. So we got a decent amount of infertiles in this clutch. An infertile leg looks pointy on each end. See the difference? So that's an infertile egg. And these nice big round ones are fertile eggs. See the difference? Now here's the funny part about it is, the only difference is, is they're growing. See, if you look, see how they're white and getting all that, be careful. So, these eggs will continue growing throughout the whole 84 days in the incubator. Whoa, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. But she still laid plenty of good eggs. Enough that I won't get them in, whoa, there. She's pretty good, thanks Juan. Juan's taking away all your guys' pleasure. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> come on, back down, back down. We almost got it. I think she, how many eggs, Tim? What do you think? I can't. I think, 50. It looks like over 50. No, I don't think it's over 50 no. within fertile. Whoa. Hey. Oh, watch out, Jay. Oh. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, come on. Juan's taking away all the blood. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna say almost exactly 50. It was more, I mean, I, we only count what we keep and she laid a few more infertiles than we want, but she did us right. Despite all that, she laid a lot of eggs. She's really a big female. We'll show you how big she is here in just a second. Okay, you ready, Juan? Wanna go out front and, and we'll take her and stretch her out? No? <laughs> oh, there's one more egg. I almost blew that, but now this egg's, now this is a funny egg, see that? It's partially fertile, partially infertile. Come on. So watch it. We'll show you a little bit of how big she is. One second, they're going to pick it up. Whoa. Okay. Here, Juan. Okay, don't let her get me. There we go. Here, turn around, Juan. So that shows you. Oh, come on. Hold it up. There we go. Whoa. So she's about, she'll actually mellow out now that she doesn't have all this bread. So she's about a 20 footer. She weighs about, oh, probably about 200 pounds now. You see, she's really big. Now, some people go, oh my gosh, she's gonna live in that little cage. Well, guess what? That little enclosure is what it's all about. You see, so this would never happen if she didn't have cover. And the wild snakes have to have cover. So these snakes, we had to figure out what it took to breed them. We, Because it used to be that captivity, they'd bring them in, and nobody could breed them and they just end up growing old, never laying eggs. But what we did is we figured out, oh, they wanna be safe. They need to have certain temperatures. So a snake's not like you. Oh, or is it like you? I guess you guys go home and you go in a house, in a yard, and then you go in a room and then you sleep. Well, a snake spends most of its time hunting and waiting for something to come by. So it wants to be hidden all the time. That's the ideal situation. <clears throat> with COVID-19, I guess we're all finding out what that feels like, right? Anyway, now I'm catching my breath from wrestling them. We're gonna count these eggs real quick. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. You already counted them. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, 42, I mean 41, 
42, 43, 44, 45, 46. I'm so confused. You guys are going to have to tell me how many eggs there are. <laughs> there they are, you guys. Anyway, keep living the dream. Hang in there. We're going to get through this pandemic. Pandemic. I mean, pandemic. Anyway, take care, guys. Keep living the dream. <laughs>